Hey, hello drum stickers, welcome again, another Sunday here. Albert Iglesias, this is Drumstick Sunday, uh, and you know, a different pair of drumsticks every week. Okay, let's let's talk about drumsticks. Um, this week another request, but kind of a special because uh, it's a request from our, our friend, uh, part of the family, is Eduardo La Espada. Uh, okay, he requested me to test this model from Big Firth, which is the signature model from Vini Colayuda. Okay. But I have to say something. Um, I, I'm afraid this is not the model that Vinny is using now, <laughs> but it's kind of a strange, it's, it's kind of hard to, to find out what drumstick he's, he's, he's currently using. Nothing, no mention of it in, in the web page. Uh, I've seen that he's been also using Cilia, uh, but uh, apparently now in the Cilia web page it doesn't appear neither. So, uh, this is, for sure, this is not the current model he's using, but it's the model that Eduardo requested me to try, so that's why I'm using this. Um, okay, first of all, uh, who is Vinny Colaida? I don't know if, it's, if I need to say this, but well, in fact, I know it's, I have to tell that because uh, many of you, uh, uh, you know, play for fun and don't usually check uh, uh, drummers. Uh, YouTube or whatever, you just play for fun. And, uh, but I have to say honestly that if you if you have a pair of drumsticks, you have to know who Vinny Colaida is because he's one of the guys that has written the, the history of this instrument. Yeah. Um, okay, first of all, let's let's uh, see who he is or how he looks like, okay? This is Vinny Colaida. Okay, uh, so if you go to his webpage or, well, the webpage is kind of, uh, it, this is, <laughs> I'm not going to mention that. It is my, my <laughs> uh, in Spanish, in Spain we say uh, it's kind of work uh, deformation or something like that. But the exact translation is because I work with that, I work with the programming and all that. And the webpage is kind of old. And, but if you go to Wikipedia and, and check that out, uh, well, apparently, if you go there and say, well, who, you know, discography, uh, your computer is going to explode, <laughs> basically, because he, is, he has played with everybody, okay? Uh, especially in the 80s and 90s, everybody. I mean, Frank Zappa, Barbara Strachan, Sting, Eric Clapton, uh, I don't know. Uh, just say a name and he, he, he's probably played two uh, uh, two albums with him or, or her or whatever. So he, he you know, he, I have to be honest, it's not, uh, well, many of you know that I, I started with drums maybe four or five years ago. I started really late in my life. But, uh, so that's why I, I don't have a lot of history about uh, Vinny. I've never, because in the 80s and 90s, I, I have no idea about drums and all that. So um, I kind of miss that. But obviously, if you start nowadays with YouTube and all that, you can. It's it's really easy to find who he, you know, tons of videos and everything you want to know about him. And he's obviously an amazing player. He can do whatever he wants with time, with with speed, with just you know. It's, um, but it's one of the key names of this instrument. So that's why I I, I think it's it's kind of cool if you like drums to have all that. At least, at least a little bit of information about all these people, like Stigad and Weckl and all that people. So just check it, check check uh, Vinny in YouTube, and you're gonna freak out. <laughs> uh, so uh, okay, and now about the drumstick. Um, well, first of all, let's have a look. Here you have this pair of drumsticks. This is the signature model from Big Firth from Vinny Collier. Well, first about sizes and all that, uh, we're talking about 16 inches long, 0 0.595 inches. We have a uh, hickory and kind of thick neck, if you 
I don't know if you're able to see that, but, uh, and uh, kind of a modified version of the standard uh, uh, acronym tip from Bitfield in this case. Okay, uh, what I have to say, uh, to how we translate that? It's basically the, the, the heart of this, uh, of this drumstick, it's, it's a 5B, and the standard 5B from, from Bitfield, but a little bit modified, especially in two, uh, in, in two ways. First of all, and maybe for me the most important part is the, the neck, uh, because it's a thicker neck than the regular one. I mean, like this, this part, and also the tip. The tip is shorter. I think it's also a little bit uh, thicker too, but uh, uh, especially a little bit shorter than the regular one. Okay, that's the two main modifications. In fact, here I have a regular 5B from Big Fears, and if we put these two together, we're gonna realize pretty easy that here, I don't know if you can see that, in, in, but here this, this is the regular one, so this is clearly thinner than this one, and the tip is like the same idea, but uh, in these cases, like they cut a, just a little bit from the top, and at the same time, I think it's a little bit thicker, just a little bit, but it's, you have a little bit more of that. Okay. Another thing that is kind of interesting for me when I see this, when I get, when I have this pair in my hand, okay, I first realize, I start to think, well, I, you know, I think I mentioned that in, in the past, when I start using a, a pair on Mondays, um, I don't look any information, I just prefer not to know anything about the drumstick, about the sizes and all that, just to, uh, to avoid to be preconditioned about the, the test. Uh, and when I get this pair, I immediately, well, the, the 5B is, uh, thickness is kind of clear. Um, it's pretty easy to realize. But uh, something that uh, was uh, kind of a strange for me, well, not a strange, but I realized, that, okay, this really looks like a, like a Vincent 5B. Because I, I mentioned that, uh, I, I don't know, it was in the Valvex video, uh, one of the last videos, I mentioned that uh, Vincent in general has more thicker neck, um, that kind of, this kind of tip in, in their, their models compared with the regular, well, with, the, with Big Fear, for, of course, and with other models. So when I get this pair, I say, oh, this really looks like a 5B from Vincent. And the thing is, if you get, if you have, this is a 5B from Vincent, well, this is the 7 drum, the 7 Street model, but it's just, it's based on a 5B. And if you put these two together, you're going to realize that it's kind of the same about the thickness, about the, Maybe just some variation in the, maybe the, the neck is just a little bit thinner or something like that, but well, the, the, the idea is that they really look like really similar compared with the, with the big fit one, with 5B. So it's kind of strange because we have a modified 5B from big fit, which looks like a standard 5B for another company. This is the cooler, that, that's, that's why I like this, okay? That's why I always say, okay, it's not a question of just of sizes, and it's a question of companies, it's a question of a lot of things, a lot of combinations. You have, I, I think you have practically every option you can imagine. So, okay, when you, uh, well, not two uh, strange, uh, sorry, not two strange things to say today, uh, because this is, uh, the, the behavior is like kind of what you can expect looking at the, at the modifications. I mean, it's like 5B, of course, the grip and all that, uh, but with this extra weight here, an extra neck, uh, what you get is more punch, more power. Eh? The, the, the stick has a more tendency to go forward, so um, if you like the standard 5B from Big but you want a, kind of an extra... Okay, here I am again. <laughs> this is the first time that this happened. I'm not going to remove this. I think it's part of the, uh, or the, it's part of the game. Okay, I forgot to put the, this on airplane mode. And it was my friend uh, Rafael Raval, amazing drummer. who's playing here today, uh, tonight. I'm gonna meet him in a in one hour. So I told him, okay, now I'm gonna mention you in the video because it's, it's your fault. Okay, cool. And most, uh, I have to work more in the past production and uh, edition and all that. Okay, cool. Well, I was saying, okay, it's kind of the same, uh, uh, sorry, it's kind of what I was saying. 
So you have uh, a regular 5e with, uh, with, uh, with a little bit more, uh, an extra punch, an extra power, uh, and especially that tendency to go for it, to, to, to move forward, to move, uh, to move forward, okay? Uh, and I know that many people prefer that. I mean, uh, when we talk about uh, the taper and all that extra speed that we always say about because we have less weight and that, I remember that somebody told me in one comment that uh, she said, okay, man, in my case, I it kind of play faster when I have more weight because you have two ways to see this. Uh, first one is when I say, okay, you have less weight, the, the, the drumstick rebound uh, go up uh, faster. Uh, but you have you, you can think it in the opposite way okay if you have more weight the, the drumstick go goes down faster and you have to put less effort to to do that so many people prefer that it, I think I think it depends on the way you play if you use more the rebound if you have a lighter grip on how you play of course the style the kind of music you play it depends. Sometimes maybe it's better if you have to play with more power. It's better, of course, if you have more weight because you have you, you have to put less effort to get that sound. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you have this, those two behaviors. So that's why I would say, okay, it depends on you. It depends on many, many, many different aspects of the drumstick and of many things. Uh, and that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> uh, I'm realizing of all that. So uh, what I have to say, it's, it, this is a, a pretty comfortable drumstick to use. Eh? Uh, you get used pretty fast to that. Of course you get, uh, uh, in my case, for example, for swing, but what I, I, I'm more used to that uh, longer taper, less material and all that. So you notice that the rebound is harder for me, but at the same time you get fuller sound, bigger sound from the toms and from the drums in general. So sometimes it's good to have this. Um, okay, I think it's, I, I, I suppose this is all I have to say. It's kind of a, to sum up, it's a 5B with an extra power, okay? Uh, but if you use Vincent now, if you are using 5B from Vincent, it's kind of the same. I, I've Try both at the same time. In fact, they try with one of each in it and change that. It's more or less the same. No, not a lot of not a lot of difference. Maybe this the the big fit, the mini model has some just a little bit of extra of that, but it's kind of the same behavior. But compared with the big fit one, is it's you notice that extra uh, pretty easy. Okay, so I hope you like it. Eduardo, I, have, I know you know the drumstick, but you know a lot of drumsticks, <laughs> but um, it's kind of what you said, it's, it's a 5e with more of that, okay? I hope it, it helps, not it helps, but I hope you like it. And for the next week, it's one for me, okay, this time, uh, because when I was uh, searching the different models to get this, uh, to make an order of drumsticks, uh, I found out this, I didn't know that... Uh, uh, okay, this is the model from the Cillian, the signature model from John Riley. Okay, next week I'll explain who John Riley is and why it's special for me or in, in some ways. Uh, but I honestly I didn't know that uh, he has the signature model, so it's kind of cool. And I'm gonna use this this week. Okay, so I hope I'm gonna see you in seven days. And you have to keep practice. I have to put this video together <laughs> because of you, Rafa, and eh? it's your fault. But, uh, okay, I hope you keep practicing, keep trying drumsticks, and see you in service, okay? Goodbye.